Everybody knows that Taylor series is used to approximate a function. If someone sees it's, it's graphically uh, in MATLAB, I'm sure he's gonna enjoy and feel pleasure and feel satisfied. And this video is the most uh, special video of my life, which I enjoy, enjoyed most of making it. My name is Man Arshad, and I'm about to see. Uh, uh, I'm about to show you uh, how uh, a function get approximated and uh, as the uh, number of terms increases in Taylor series. Uh, for the instance, I say that if I have first three term of a Taylor a series, then there will be some error. And if I add uh, 15 terms, so I will get close to my function uh, for which I'm finding my Taylor series. And there will be a point reach where my error become almost, almost very, very negligible. And that point, uh, the Taylor polynomial, I would say, uh, you are about to find and you will see it uh, graphically. So here, here I have a, a code which is written in MATLAB. So I will explain you this code a little bit and you can download it. Uh, as I don't know about uh, any side, we don't charge uh, 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 money for downloading th things because most of the sites ask for premium accounts. So I will find some website from where this type of course can be easily downloaded without any uh, the charges or you you can download without any advertisement so here's my function what I try to do it in this function that I will draw a function I will take a function for example here I'm taking exponential x and I'm gonna just plot this function and then I will just run a loop and in that loop I will find the Taylor series of this function which is f which is uh, exponential x e to the x and then I will uh, just find it with respect to x as is my x function and I want to uh, set a is equal to zero uh, and then the uh, order of this uh, Taylor series means the number of terms which I, I want to involve uh, will be is equal to i means the number of loops that I want to uh, run for the, for the instance I want to uh, involve 70 terms and for this uh, I'm, I'm gonna plot all those uh, things in system 2 and uh, plug in the value of time and then plot them and uh, there will be a pause of one second so you can see it clearly uh, so let's get started and uh, here we go so he here you can see at this point as my number of variables are increasing my graph is approximately becoming equal to my function. Here is the exponential function e to the x. So as I am increasing the num uh, number of terms, uh, I am getting approximately close to this exponential. Uh, so here you can see how, uh, here I ha have taken just four to five terms and you can see the error between my main function and this uh, uh, Taylor series function. and. Uh, as I uh, start increasing the, the number of uh, uh, Taylor polynomial order, uh, I get close to this my, my uh, main function. So I'm gonna do this again, so you can see it uh, clearly and easily. Because as you can see, there are very less points that you have taken. So I'll ask you to take more points, so I draw it more uh, clearly and uh, just you can see it more clearly so as you can see the more I increase this this is 70 polynomial for the instance over here uh, 72 much less I have to start from let's say 5 so this time I'm gonna run 5 as you can see 1 2 3 4 and 5 and you can see there is lots of error between my main function and my Taylor polynomial I give increases to 15 so I want to add 15 terms uh, to uh, see how uh, close my polynomial uh, the, the Taylor series get to the original function as you can see over here as this is increasing it's getting close and close to the main function so at this point approximately up to 15 or 16 I'm about very 
near to my original function and uh, you can see uh, this last error. Let's start it with uh, a negative. So th this one I'm going to get uh, oscillate. So I will first of all draw this as you can see. Here's my main function blue and as you can see it's oscillating up and down before getting to the main function. As you can see over here ladies and gentlemen it is closing, it is coming close and close to the main function. Yes. So I'm gonna in, increase intervals from 20, uh, from 15 to 20, so, so that you can see it again. And I'm gonna add a bump of five seconds so that there will be a pause of it, so you can see it more clearly. As you can see, it's down and up, it's oscillating positive, negative, positive, negative, above and below the y axis. Uh, axis and it's just positive in x axis and as you can see over here I'm gonna zoom it it's as the number of terms are increasing the function is as you can see it's coming close and close to the main function which is this one and uh, ladies and gentlemen here I reached almost very close to my main function so this was just a demonstration to see that how we can uh, approximate, uh, find the Taylor polynomial to make it equal to our main functions. Both are equivalent, but there are certain uh, approximations because as uh, the series go from zero to infinity, so we can add infinite terms. So we have to find definite and theoretically, we just add three terms or four terms or five terms. But here we can see more clearly that the more we involve term, the more uh, those uh, Taylor polynomial come uh, close to our real function.